A 21-year-old daughter with a life-saving gift for her mother, a kidney donation. Sydney Deshawn talked to this family about their journey through dialysis and their wait for a match. Thank to God that blessed me my daughter because of her, extend my life. Meet Rosemary and Mary Jane Horan. We get into it like sisters. They are mother and daughter who live in Colleen. Mary Jane was on track to retire to her native country, the Philippines, with her husband, Dave. That was until her health began to decline. I was diagnosed, I found out, 2016. A genetic kidney condition is what Mary Jane had, but she never let that define her. Whenever she was going through dialysis, that's what she called her full-time job, was being a content creator. Everybody, oh, she's in dialysis, but it looked like nothing. Mary Jane got lab work done in 2022. My daughters told me and my husband, you need to go uh, lab works done before you go home. And then uh, the result is that I have 7% function my kidney. After months of testing, she was approved to go on the kidney transplant wait list, but that can take an indefinite amount of time. I thought that was the end of my life. Her youngest daughter stepped up. It was just a no-brainer to like help out my mom. And she was the perfect donor match. I don't have any like health issues and uh, I'm the same blood type as her and everything. March 27th is when the Harans went through successful procedures. On like a bigger scale, it was like, oh my goodness, I'm about to give away an organ. It all happened in the hospital rooms at Baylor Scott and White. We would love to see more of this happen because most of the time it's a very happy story. You know, basically this is a family member helping each other and uh, achieve a good result. Today, Rosemary is left with a scar, but she's fully healed. The mark is a reminder of her love for her mom. I don't see it on a different scale as making breakfast for my mom in the morning. It's just, just something that I would have done for her no matter what. I'm very happy that my husband, number one, he support me. He carries me everything to survive and alive. And also, thank to God that I give him my youngest daughter, that she uh, gave me another life. Cindy Deshawn reporting there for us. Mary Jean now fulfilling her dream of being able to retire to the Philippines with her husband. Experts say donors should expect to live a normal life and that donating will not affect your lifespan.